Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, I want to show you how to do a mail merge. It's a question I kind of get asked from time to time when I'm teaching Excel. Of course, we're not actually going to start from Excel. What we're going to do is we're going to start from a Word document here. So you can see up here, I kind of have some of these things are kind of marked in green. And basically, they're, they're what's called the merge fields that I'm going to use to link to my Excel file. Now, a mail merge is basically where you have a standard document and you combine it with another file so that you create a whole bunch of letters that, you know, um, are basically customized. If you ever received any kind of lottery letter or any, you know, mail merging from a charity or anything else, you have received a mail merge. OK, so this is the Word document. And now let's look at my uh, up here. Here is the uh, Excel document I'm going to use. Um, I use this from fake name generator. So you can see here I've got a list of, you know, given names, surnames, cities, you know, full state names and email addresses, which I'm going to use, which are obviously all fake. Okay. So let's begin. One of the things I need to do first is that I need to close my um, Excel file, because if I don't close it, um, you'll find that you're going to get um, an error message, which is not always too helpful. So let me go back down here now to my Word document. There we go. And I'm going to leave those as is for the time being. I'll delete them in a few seconds. I'm going to start here by going up here to mailings. And I'm going to do this as um, email first. So then we we'll go to mailings. And then I go to this one which says start mail merge. And then I'm just going to go down here to email messages. I kind of change this format straight away. Now, at this point, what you can do is that if you don't want to send it to everybody, you could come up here to select recipients. OK, so go to select recipients. And I've got three options, typing new list, use an existing list or choose from Outlook contacts. Okay. So I want to focus on what you do if you have it in Excel. So I'm going to go for the second option here, which is use an existing list. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and it always goes into this weird place. I don't know why. I'm going to go to the website one here, and there are my list of names, and I click open. Okay. And then what you do at this point is um, you just click OK. Go with the defaults. I'll just give it a few seconds to trundle on through those. Now, what I can do at this point as well, see that I've selected my recipients. The next thing, if I come over here to this one, which is edit recipient list. So what I can do is I can use this if, for example, I only want to send it to some people. Recipient list. And if you look down here at the bottom, you can see that it's doing its thing down there. And there we have them all. And now you could just, you go across here and filter as you would in the usual way. So for example, I could only filter, say, I only want to send them to New South Wales. And just give it a second. And see, there's kind of it's it's all right. Let's say New South Wales. So let's say I just have New South Wales. You don't have to do this, okay? All right. And um, if I decide that oh, I don't need to do New South Wales, I can come over here, go to my little state full, and again, let's say just you know, just go to if I want to remove it again. So anyway, I'm just going to go to OK. It gives me some options. So now what I need to do is I need to now kind of link up my document, which I have here in front of me with this one. I'm going to do that by insert merge fields. OK, so what I do is I come up here. Just leave that out. And I go to insert merge field. I click on the title. Then make sure you press the space bar. Otherwise, it'll all come together. Insert merge field. Give a name, space bar, insert merge field, surname, and I put in a comma, and then I come down here to city, insert merge field, and I choose city. And then I just press enter as well. Now, before I kind of send it off, and it won't be going anywhere, I just go to this one here, which says preview results. Okay, 
And if we can use this then, these options up here, let's say, to move through it. I can see if you look down here, then you can see as I'm doing it, these are changing. And then to set it back again, I just go to this one, click on it again. The last step is to go to finish and merge. And I can just go down to this one, then send email messages. And I'm going to send to email address for my subject line. I'm just going to say test email message. And then I can decide who do I want to send it to, some of the records, or just let's say from you know one to ten if I want to. Now I'm not going to hit this because they're all fake, but this essentially would be the way that you do it. Okay. Hope you find this useful. Mind yourself and take care. Bye.